this is my horsetail journey of finding what creates a beautiful tail and what keeps a horse from rubbing their tail up above. Okay, this is the before of his tail. You can see he's rubbed. And I've noticed that um, cleaning his sheath and keeping it clean, he doesn't rub as much. So I cleaned it just with my hands and then I took a spray bottle and sprayed up inside and just really rubbed and cleaned and the next morning he hadn't rubbed and then yesterday and the day before I didn't get a chance to do that and he rubbed. I'm starting to see that it's just a combination of everything. His sheath compared to everybody else gets sweaty and gooey inside and he gets really itchy so I think that could be part of why he's rubbing his tail. That's one part. The second part I think is what you use to clean their tail. Also how you care for their tail and what you're feeding them and that's just three things that I can think of. And actually I can think of one more thing, especially if you have a horse that has white legs. Whenever you wash them and their legs are wet, make sure that you get that lower part of their leg dry. If you put them away and it's still wet, they can collect debris and dust, which can irritate them and give them scratches and make their legs itchy. And if their legs or hocks are itchy, they try to rub their legs and they lose hairs from their tail. Yeah, this is my tail journey, my horse tail journey. He's been wormed, so it's not that he hasn't been wormed. I think it's um, also the fly sprays that you use. He's very sensitive. I used to spray fly spray on the top up here and have recently read a few things that that's not good. And he's a sensitive horse and when they rub, they can get even more sensitive as far as like you know their their skin and to put a fly spray on there could irritate it i've also learned that putting too many products and like rubbing it in their tail could not be a good thing especially because see he doesn't have a whole lot of hair up here if i put anything oily it attracts the sun and then he gets burnt and he peels and I think that irritates him and then he rubs. If you use product on their tail it's better to use it down below and just maybe very lightly on the top not rubbing it in so it gets irritated because rubbing it in their tail attracts dirt and debris and stuff and that can irritate it and make them want to itch it too so there's a lot of factors in why they rub their tails and some of the shampoos too i'm learning are very drying and if they're sensitive and we live in a dry climate we live in reno it's very dry here and using a shampoo on top of that that dries their tail it's very dry and can make them itchy and make them rub so um i'm really i'm really excited to use this new shampoo let's go see how it works okay this is after We used the Lucky Braids all-in-one shampoo and I really, really like the way that it makes his tail feel. It's like so, so fluffy and the concept behind it is to not have to do anything else, not have to use conditioner or 
a detangler like Shoshin or whatever, which that's one of the ones that I use. And I didn't use anything except the shampoo. It combed out so easy. Now I did have it in a tail bag and it had been braided so his tail wasn't tangled. So it'll be interesting. I'm not gonna put it in a tail bag. I'm just gonna leave it like this. It feels really, really good. And here in Reno, Nevada, we get a lot of wind, like it's breezy today and their tails can get tangled easily and everywhere is like dirt. So um, it dries their tails out. So I'm gonna try not doing anything with it to see how that works. Um, you know, places that are more humid, it might be okay to do, but I'm curious to see here being all dirt, all their pens are dirt, and their tails seem to get drier with the dirt and can get tangled easily with the wind. And I'm gonna go um, maybe five days, five days, <laughs> without doing anything to it and just see what happens. I'm gonna see if he rubs his tail or if it starts to look dry or get tangled. Um, and I think you're supposed to like pick it out with your fingers every day. But I, I'll be curious to see um, yeah, how it does, how it holds up. It could be that here in Nevada, it might need to be braided and put in a tail bag or a tail wrap so it doesn't get tangled and so it's easy to comb out. I'm really curious to see. You know, I love the shampoo. I love the shampoo. That's the first thing. <laughs> I love it, and I love the way it makes it feel, and it feels just really fluffy and just, yeah, detangled. <laughs> um, so I'm curious to see. I'm wondering if here in Nevada we might have to still braid it and put it in a tail bag to keep it clean and keep it from um, drying out and moisturizing it or um, if it'll be okay like this. So I'll keep you guys updated, okay? See you guys in the next video. Bye.